the best part. <laughs> uh, here we go, podcast 59. We were hoping to have the bully on. That's why I played that little tune from him. Yes, you know, being the fat sack of shit that he was, he couldn't make the football team, so he's part of the marching band, apparently. We hope everyone can detect a, an improvement in quality of sound. We got new mics. We kind of had them on ice for a couple of weeks, but they finally came in. <laughs> <laughs> Trying them out for the first time. Yeah, last time we did a podcast was with Cynthia. What was that, three weeks ago? I think it was longer than that. Almost a month. I actually messaged her about an hour before I left work to see if she was free tonight and she wanted to come on, but she said too short notice. She said next week she should be good to go. So, Fun. Yeah, Rob Zilla was supposed to come, but he got stuck in West Palm. He still might show up. We'll see. We were going to have the bully on, but Linda's got him by the short and curlies this weekend, <laughs> so he couldn't go anywhere. I offered to pick him up too, but, you know, what are you going to do? How you feeling, Lenny? I feel a lot better thanks to 30 pounds of water being removed out of my body with the IV diuretics. Yeah, how did that all transpire? People, that was, what it was, was an that? ongoing problem about the past three or four months where it consistently was getting worse. Uh, my skin would break open. I wasn't able to lay on my back to sleep. Well, Brad and I had both been getting DMs. I think it was the last couple of gym videos you had done with Rob. People were noticing how unusually big your gut was. Yeah, and it was a lot of water in the gut as well. A lot. And for whatever reason, I'm not craving the water like I used to, even in the dead of summer right now. Very strange. Well, you're not out riding your bike around in the heat anymore. Well, I was craving it, you know, even when, before I stopped using the bike. Well, that was the stack that you were on, right? I, I think so. I could probably attribute 75% of that to that stack, which I was reducing dosages weekly, I guess, maybe the buildup. What, what, um, what PED makes you thirsty like that? Probably a combination it's of just, the, okay. just a stack. Maybe the GH did as well. I mean, I was, it seems to hold a lot of water as well. It causes edema, particularly in the stomach. I mean, I don't have that stretched stomach feeling right now. And the only thing I'm taking. So right in other now, words, you feel better. I feel less bloated. I'm able to sleep on my back. Say it. Say it. I feel better. Look at, he won't he say it. He I won't get, say I it. I get into the weight room. I won't, wouldn't feel better. Who cares? <laughs> so what? But, uh, so what so the symptoms are relieved let's take it back because you were with mike t that saturday night before he took you to the er right what'd you guys do you had a rough night huh <laughs> well my septic system in my apartment backed up uh, so it was coming out of the toilet and the shower and i got the hell out of there and mike i mean obviously since i wasn't sleeping in the bed anyway let's you know, let me sleep in his couch so we decided to go down to club atomic <laughs> And he sees it, said, wow, your pants look so tight on you this time. Actually, they ripped in the back, and I broke uh, broke the couch. I was sitting with a tan 10-10. Oh, Jesus it was, Christ. It was about six foot, maybe 180 thick built. At Club on, Atomic, you broke a couch. Yeah, and all of a sudden, we hit the deck, <laughs> fell on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a roll. So that's a chair he broke. We went to the hockey game, and now he broke a couch at Club Atomic. Yeah. You're like you're becoming like the toilet breaker. <laughs> I blame I blame the tan ten ten. <laughs> Who knows how much she weighed, but yeah. And then we we went home. I you know took my pants off, and he goes, "I'm taking your ass to the hospital." He says, "That's horrible." This was the following morning. Yeah, because I could barely walk from the car to the club, from the car to his. Uh, you know, we 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 go down in his car, of course, and uh, walking. 20 30 yards i'm like had to stop and it was just from horrible. being winded or just all the water just build up the, in your just legs? from the water uh, when did that um welt build up on your on the front of your well, shin? The, my skin from the swelling broke so many times it just got stretched to the point where it snaps and it bubbles up there was a bubble Ugh. the size of a space ball when i came into the emergency room and they didn't want to pop it. Pop on. Actually, it popped twice, and then it would reform. And Mike had all this greasy, orange, yellow goo all over his floor. Get the fuck out of here. 
And he's like, what the hell? You're leaking all over. They call it a weeping wound. Oh, my God. Uh, and I, I was thinking, you know, once all I really need to do is I was ready to start dieting for the contest with Dale up in Carolina, which was going to start July 1st. And I, fi I pretty much figured once I start doing that, doing the cardio, start taking an anti-estrogen, these symptoms will subside. So he didn't, Mike basically said, no, I'm taking you, fuck you, whatever. You know, I want you dying on me and stuff. And it turns out he's probably right. But yeah, I was in pretty bad shape, they told me. I mean, my heart function was terrible. Couldn't get the water out, so. Yeah, explain that. That's, it's called your ejection fraction. Yes. So that, that refers to the, your left ventricles output. Yeah, because as soon as you texted me that, I did some reading online, and I, you know, I didn't know anything about it. Thirty percent, I believe they told me. No, you told me forty. Forty, okay. And I think anything, it, the 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 lowest end of normal I read is fifty-five, and mm -hmm. forty is considered systolic heart failure. Yeah. Basically. So that's what you were in. Yeah. Jeez. So they hooked me up to an IV of Lasix, and then they had me on magnesium. How reversible is that? Well. I don't know what my injection fraction is now. I'm sure certainly it's a lot better with all this water out of me. I mean, now I can walk the stairs and not get winded, walk. Did they test it before they released you? Yeah, they oh. wouldn't have released me either if I was in a dangerous range. So do you know what it was when they released you, or you don't remember? No, I don't remember. Uh, you don't even ask any questions, though. I don't. I mean, I, <laughs> I could be. I, I don't really want to find out. I don't like to play the mind game. You know, cure me, send me on my way, but, you know, there's a lot of negativity goes around in there. A uh, couple good things, my liver and kidneys were seem to be fine, so. Well, that's fucking And I don't huge. have any type and of buildup. That's build a shocker, up. actually. Yeah, the, uh, the liver like, part, uh, yeah. Your liver enzyme count was in the normal range? Yeah, yeah. Wow. I wasn't taking any orals at the time, maybe a pre-workout Anadrol, but. Just the tan you sucked off the night before. <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't go that far. <laughs> Not that far. Yes, ZC only. We're using new mics. He just DM'd me. Now the only problem I have now is my feet are swollen and still numb. They're not swollen, but they there's they look a lot. Actually, your legs look a lot better than they did well, a couple feet, weeks ago. I don't know if I'm sure. having some type of neuropathy, but I'm not getting the feeling in my leg. It's almost like a full fallen, a sleepy feet feeling with the pins and needles. Even it's even on the top, and it really hasn't gone away. It's it's gone up and down. So. I may have to address that problem. I don't know what that is, but is it, uh, isn't that normally related to diabetes, diabetic it could neuropathy? Be. My, my blood sugar was very high. What was it? At the it, hospital, it was uh, in the twos when I got in. But then they pumping me with insulin like crazy, waking me up hours of the night to administer insulin, even when I wasn't eating. Mm -hmm. So I have a feeling that I think the GH that I was taking was still in my system, and it causes you to have a high blood sugar reading. I would gather now since I haven't injected GH in over three weeks that my blood sugar isn't, probably isn't as high. I intend to go get my finger pricked and find out what my blood sugar level is, but I don't particularly fond of doing that on a daily basis. Uh, now, who the fuck is? But I kind of think that caused like a, a reading, which, you know, the endocrinologist, she wants me to do a follow-up with her. She's clueless. She didn't know what decadoroblin was. I told her Nangelo and she had no clue. And she tells me she works with lifters and stuff. I'm like, yeah, okay. Then you would know what deck is. Yeah. Jesus Christ. And then she'll get me on testosterone replacement. It's like, whatever. So I just crease my dosages. Actually, I haven't taken it three weeks. I plan on going doing uh, 400 milligrams a week, which I was fine with last year. See how things go. Get back in the gym next Monday. You know, I was an antibiotic too. I had a urinary tract infection. It's probably because from not, be able, not pissing all the blood, the urine out at once. I guess some falls back in as you get older. You can get a UTI. <laughs> they didn't give you a catheter, did they, while you were there? Almost. Oh. But I want to thank you should, Andrew, uh, double uh, visits. Big J Master, double visits. My mother. Mike T well, was there every day. Thank you very much. Well, are you, are you Brad was there once because he was in Chicago early in the week. And any heart, any nice wishes, I'm sure they help. But... Are you, are you sure that's how you got the UTI? 
Yeah, that's what Not, they said. You sure it wasn't related to some extracurricular activities? <laughs> that's a good question. I didn't ask, but... Oh, wait. No, yes, you did. And I was about to tell the story. When, when Jay and I were there the first time, you remember that doctor walked in and he's like, oh, hi, I'm from the uh, Department of Infectious Diseases. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. And so Jay and I look at each other and, you know, we sort of laugh and he, <laughs> he started telling you, well, you know, you have a UTI and we're going to start, start you on an antibiotic. And Lenny and I made eye contact and we kind of gave each other a look. And Lenny looks at the doctor. He goes, how do you think I could have gotten that UTI? <laughs> and I just had a, I almost walked out of the room because I almost started laughing. I, you know, I thought you were trolling the doctor, you know, because you and I, you and I made eye contact. And he's like, wait, for, wait for me to ask this fucking stupid question. <laughs> what did he say? He said it was something about how you're getting older. So urine can get backed up in your system and uh, have bacteria form in your urinary tract or um, prostate something like that interesting because you piss all the time yeah I'm, I'm pissing a hell of a lot less now of course i'm drinking a hell of a lot less water so yeah i'm really concerned about andrew calora with that diagnosis about the doctor telling him that's one of the worst plaque buildups he's ever seen yeah what is what was that all about i caught a little bit of that he did a live the other night but i, I didn't I don't know what that's from. I got to give him a call, find out if he has a follow-up visit or a second opinion or something like that. But oh no, everybody going to doctors now. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Oh. I was forced by yeah. Mike D. I was at one yesterday. Hey, so no, that's a surgeon. Forgive me, not a if doctor. Mike T. Wouldn't have told me. I would have probably one and did something on my own. But I just hope, uh, you know. Andrew, that'd be a bad blow to him. I mean, that's a guy that's pretty much been healthy his whole life, knows how to eat, uh, knows how to monitor his body pretty much. Yeah, I wish I could have a test level of 32 and be built like that. Jesus Christ. Yeah, no shit. Jesus. <laughs> Just goes to show once it's built, it's going to stay, you know, it's stay for life, especially if you train correctly. Do you think that level will moderate over time, or do you think he's stuck at that low no, level? I think it'll definitely go up. Okay. Definitely. The body adapts, but, you know, more concerned about that blockage and whatever that's all about. And I had another unfortunate incident. Uh, I received a phone call Sunday morning from... Let's not call it a girlfriend. I wouldn't call it. Let's not. I wouldn't call her a whore either. At this point, I would call her somebody I was gonna and get out of this dump with, marry her. And you know, a nice little one bedroom would be beneficial to both of us. You know, we, I've known her for twenty years. I work with her. She's Bahamian, very tall, good-looking, well-built woman, very smart. You know, older than me, but you know, didn't look it. And a Black great cook. Crack. And. Uh, I haven't spoke to her in four months. I mean, sorry, four, four weeks. And I obviously didn't speak to her the time I was in the hospital the week after. I was going to plan on calling her actually that day. And I heard someone say, Leonard, and I thought it was her. And it says, this is Juanita's sister, and Juanita died. I said, no. So said, don't tell me that. You know, basically... She had a heart attack the day before I was discharged and she was admitted the day before I was admitted and the whole, she was had a seizure and they brought her to JFK hospital and she was hooked up to oxygen to be able to breathe and she was breathing on, ended up breathing on her on Thursday and Friday, which is a good sign. But then Saturday morning she was stricken with a heart attack. And she died. And, uh, yeah, I didn't realize how bad it would, it would hit me. I, I only had my grandmother's pass in my life, and they were 80 and 90 something. So it's more. Yeah, and it's somebody it's I was. It's definitely easier. But I sort of feel guilty, and I want to explain why. The last week, you know, I, was t I told her, I'm tired of living in this dump, and you're not living in a nice place as well. Let's get married and do it the old fashioned way. You know, because I never had intercourse with her in 20 years. 
I'm being honest. I, we even did other other things, everything but. Was she the one that came to your house a few months ago with her son? Uh, no, not with her son, no. Uh, but she came by a few months ago, didn't she? Yeah. Okay. And, you know, we used to have lunch together. Even when I had the bike, she'd go when I was working. And, you know, I've known her for years. And we had different political views, but she always gave a good discussion and argument. And, you know, I'm really upset about that. Sad to see her go. Because I think I, I might have attributed caused some of it because that week she was doing really bad. She was telling me that she was locked out of her house. And she would stay at her brother's uh, automotive shop during the day because she was alone. And I'm thinking to myself, I mean, I'm lonely. I'm, I'm lonely too. I love her. I, you know, let's just go ahead and get married and live in a you know nice one bedroom place. You cook, whatever, you pay the bills. And uh, she called. I didn't return two of her calls a week before she passed. And I kind of think she really had no one at that time really to. Maybe she thought I lost interest in her or something I mean, because she was with me a few times uh, in Lake Worth at different restaurants and people would come up and recognize me and she says how come you're so famous and you know she really wasn't on the internet or anything like that and better for her maybe shot I you know she was too old or something but you know I always told her I didn't love you know anyone as much as you and I kind of think she got distressed because I didn't return her calls and you know that triggers a lot of things and i just don't blame yourself for that man. well i'm gonna that's that's she didn't die because you didn't call her back well don't even don't put things, that on yourself put, a lot of things are distressful i'm just the only thing i can say is you know if you love someone take because you don't know more when they're going to be gone and i never had something like that you know as far as a close friend or you know say someone that you love you know, passing away unexpectedly like that. So that's all I can say from that. And, you know, I think anytime someone loses someone, they, they always think of something they wish they could have done when they had or the chance have said, or should have said, I yeah. wish I had the chance to do this or say and this you or wish beyond anything just it, to have her it, back. So you just can tell her that. But like I said, I, that that's a, that's a thousand pound weight. You will, you will wear around your neck for the rest of your life. If you don't, shed that feeling of guilt that well the only thing i can say yeah. is i i sure as hell hope i see her again and uh it's a horrible feeling never had it happen before and uh yeah it's just awful now there's nothing i wouldn't do for her now but now she's gone so yeah that's the first time i've ever heard you cry i couldn't believe it yeah i'm surprised you got me choked up yeah i was I'm like surprised, yeah, man you know it's like he called me. I was at work. I'm like, hey, Lenny, what's up? And yeah, have you know? God forbid anybody, you know, you know, you're, you know, those people like Andrew or whatever is like going through. You know, of course, anybody can die in, a, in an auto accident, or whatever. See, that's why you know you got to take better care of yourself. Yeah. You know, because that's how all the maniacs will feel if you fucking just drop dead. Yeah, and some of them too. Once you know them real well, it's like us as well. We, you know. I haven't had too many people die close to me, to be honest. I mean, other than my grandmothers, but they were, you know, so. She was a good woman and, she, you know, she didn't have the easiest life, but. Grab that mic. This one's waking up, waking up a little bit. Yeah, so rest in peace, Juanita. I, I'm sure we'll see you again soon. Yeah. Remember the good times, Lenny. Just remember the good times. That's all I can tell you. Yeah, just going Keep out her to alive eat. in your heart. And delete those fucking pictures her sister oh, sent you. Oh, God, Jesus. For yeah. on that ventilator. That, that's, that's, that's what? Talk about shitty judgment. Yeah. Jesus. That's nay. Well, I mean, what is she trying to prove to you that she really, I mean, come on. Maybe just want to show me. I don't, you know, I don't have a shocking. problem with it. You know, it makes me cry. But what makes me cry worse is, you know, not returning her calls. Well, Jason doesn't seem to think it's that sad of an event, now, does he? 
Oh, he's a fucking, <laughs> he's a little asshole. For those who don't know why I'm saying that, it's because Brad did a gym video with Jason a few days ago. I, I was there for the tail end of it. I wasn't there for this part. Well, I was, but I was bopping up and down in, in the jacuzzi. And I guess you had mentioned it to Jason, yeah. and he st- almost started laughing. He did fucking laugh. That's how he handles death. You know, like when you told, who got hit by a train and he was cracking up about Greg Plitt. There you go. It's just, I don't know. Remember, we, in an old Delray Misfit episode, he did that with Chuck. Chuck was talking about, I think his, I think it was his stepfather's funeral that he had to go to. Or we, he was saying it was the last time he had flown to Chicago. And Jason started laughing. He wonders why people hate him. Fucking moron. <laughs> you all right? It's good to talk about it. Get it off yeah. your chest. Yeah, I just wish I could go. Cause she was so happy when I come by after work just to spend the afternoon with her that's talk she seemed so excited but she, she didn't believe it because you know, 20 years and she keeps saying I'm gonna do it procrastinating procrastinating you know I wouldn't just move in with her I'd, I'd marry her first because I always said that you know that's that's just that, that's just me you know But that's tough. She have any kids? Yeah, they're a sad situation. They're all uh, doing life in prison. So they're all yeah, they listen, yeah, like three sons, which I don't even know if all of them are going to get to see your body or whatever. Let off for I don't know the situation, but you know, you get caught up in the wrong crowd. You know, she's a single mother. You know, didn't listen to her, didn't listen to their mother, you know. What are they serving life in prison for? I'm not sure. Probably some type of drive-by shooting, something like that. Who knows? I don't know. But, you know, she's always dealing with that. And I I think I saw the youngest one, and he went down a bad path as well, maybe about 20 years ago when she worked with me. Andrew Kalora met her once when he used to come in there. Met her a couple times. So, I just hope he gets himself squared away as far as that goes. You know, I don't like how that sounds, you know. Well, what exactly does he have? He has some type of calcium deposits, which basically can clog the arterial system possibly cause a heart attack or stroke because there's levels of it so that's not cholesterol no it's uh something what is that attributed to probably genetics okay because uh well you know obviously i know he takes blood pressure meds right yes he does uh but when the doctor tells him he has one of the highest levels he's ever seen you know that's kind of distressing did he get a second opinion on that i don't know i have to get in touch with him but that's a thing i mean get in touch with your loved ones even my one he'd always told me i need to call my mother more she's right you know nice woman they don't make them much like that anymore at least none that I know of uh, you'll meet somebody uh, just not that it's just uh, you know never seen her again I guarantee you if she was still alive knowing what I do now I always thought this was a bad dream believe me I would leave get rid of leave like Mike T says just leave all that stuff at your place Take the bare minimum and leave it. I've told you that too, man. So just leave Fuck the junk. It. Yeah. Because he doesn't want to, you know, the landlord doesn't want to do his part. Fuck him. Leave all those stupid magazines, but never get that opportunity now, you know. That's not true. 
Well, it's just not. not That's up know. to you. You can move out it's of there. You, you can move out of there if you want. Well, no, it's just. It. It's just the thought of. You know, losing her. It's the main main thing. So. All right. I guess I'll. It'll take time. You'll get over it, man. Yeah, yeah. but. I don't mind the pictures, you know, whatever Jason wants to say, that's fine. It's the least of it. It's just, you know, not seeing her again. I could care less about it, you know. Well, we all know he's a heartless cunt, so you can't expect anything more from him. He'd laugh if one of us fucking dropped dead. You kidding me? I thought Andrew did drop dead. Remember that last year? And he started laughing. Who? At the party. Oh, <laughs> at Lou's party. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Right. That was I, his first reaction to laugh his ass off. I think I did die. I just instead came of, back to life. Instead of being, you know, <laughs> concerned, he just jumped up yeah, and was I know. fucking cracking up. <laughs> <laughs> fucking animal. Mm. Well, thanks for the uh, notice I received in the mail from a Fuck maniac. that. Stop sending yeah, me. If you're going to send something, send something worth a shit. I'm getting tired of getting sent all this that's crap. Not even, that's not even worth okay. the stamp. Whoever, whoever sends us shit, don't waste your fucking money on the U.S. Postal Service. Fucking wear or use. Smearing tomato sauce all over my. That was you eating letters. your fucking meatball sandwich on it. A bunch of slobs. I, probably looking for loose change. I'm, unless it's glitter. Andrew loves glitter. Yeah. They sent, they <laughs> so, sent Andrew an exploding glitter tube. Yeah. Why are you? Why would you waste your fucking money? I opened it up in the. Uh, we were in the garage at the gym in Boca the other morning with Jason, and I, I had a feeling it was something I didn't want, so I I aimed it kind of straight up and away from me, so. All the glitter went inside the box for the new microphone. Just a little bit, of it, a little that got on me. But I think it's in his, it's in the end of his video. You posted it on um, or was it uh, Instagram? Instagram? Yeah, okay, you did an okay. Instagram story. Yeah. <laughs> this is what they send. Well, thank God it's not anthrax. Yeah, no shit. Don't give him any ideas. <laughs> you that glitter though is a pain in the ass to try to get off. Let me tell you, you'll have like three little pieces of glitter on you, and no matter what you do, you can't get it off. You, know, you need like the most coarse sandpaper possible. Still, yeah, it was still on to, the floor the next day. Yeah, I went back to the gym. It was still there, all over the place. Now, if it had been pointing toward me, I'd, I'd probably still have some on me. Or even I'm, in your face. You know, oh yeah. And Andrew Kalora got scolded for having chalk on the floor. Imagine you getting kicked off for having glitter on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> There should be chalk uh, in every fucking gym. I don't know why they don't have it. So I, I learned an interesting nugget of information, Lenny. You know, um, the Paradise Sports Lounge, you've talked about some of your exploits there late at night. And um, this Coco Goff chick who just um, surprised everybody at Wimbledon, the 15-year-old who I think she made it to the round of 16. She lost to that Romanian chick on Monday. Um She's a she's a, a Delray Beach resident, originally from Georgia, but she lives here now. Her father owns the Paradise Sports Lounge, and how do I know this? Because when she won the match before she beat the lost to the Romanian chick, I was watching the six o'clock Sports Center, and they showed everybody celebrating when she won a match from inside Paradise Sports Lounge, and it said on the screen, you know. Paradise Sports Lounge, and then they said her father owns the bar. I was like, holy shit. I understand <laughs> he used, to, big used, to, be a, used <laughs> yeah. to be a major league baseball player. I knew that, but I did not know that until you told me. Yeah. Yeah, I think they pretty much, a lot of people were banned because of the fights, and I think the uh, there's well, they, not as many youngsters in there anymore. Well, they stopped having that DJ on, what was it, Sunday night? That it got wild there. Yeah, I yeah, think so. Rerun. My my coworker told me she said, "Oh, they don't do the DJ anymore because all them fighting and shit." She said, "Tell Lenny to come down to breathe." <laughs> <laughs> breathe is not much better. Well, well for Leonard, he loved. Well, it. yeah, for Lenny. breathe. It's right on Atlantic Avenue. It's west of Swinton, though. It's the hookah bar, right across from the Checkers. Yeah, it's across from the Checkers. Across the street. Yeah. Yeah, by that Windy yeah. City Pizza. I used to go there a lot in, I'd say, 2013, <laughs> and yeah. That's where he is with him. Who the hell do I care about that fat, insulin-resistant slob DJ? Well, that's where all the younger <laughs> chicks are going. That's where he is? 
The, what did I just tell you? No, not the DJ, oh. but your the crowd you're looking for. Oh, there's still some nice older ones. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I, I kind of like them. You know, my age or whatever. Have you been back in there since you got out of the hospital? Yeah, I went that Friday night. <laughs> Andrew was fifty fifty on joining me. Yeah, it was okay. Did you meet anybody? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Come on, elaborate. Let's hear it. We love the stories from there. Yeah, we, <laughs> a girl. What? Okay, you don't have to say that. Yeah, I don't want to say it. You, you don't have to say that, but you could great. say what you did with her. Never did it before. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what are, what have you ever been shy about what the hell you put into your body? I just don't want to. All right, but what did you do with her after you after oh, she gave you that? A couple of girls are sitting on my lap. Basically, gave me a lap dance for nothing. So, just I did, you know, just sit there and that particular evening, you know, this is obviously before I heard the bad news on Sunday, but I just sit there in front of the door and girls will come in and they come in. I do this. They look at me and smile. You just sit by the front door and smile at everybody that comes. They get all dressed up. You're like the greeter. Basically, yeah, they go all out. And, you know, there's like packs of them. And some of them never, you know, there's new girls coming all the time. And I just smile and they get all nervous and giggly. It's great. If I did that to the white gals, they'd be reporting me as soon as I did it. <laughs> <laughs> to be yeah, honest. They'd walk out and leave. <laughs> Down to earth people, I'll say that. Those people. <laughs> so you take so when am I going to meet your you, coworker did you, did that you, keeps you, talking about me, Brad? Did you take her home? No. Oh. That's what the car's for. Oh, you fucked her in her car? No, I finger I fingered her breasts. You fingered her you breasts? What? Yeah, she had an Afro wig. Had to have been a wig. She had the fishnets on. I came up to this girl. I said, hey. I said, that's my weakness. She had a short mini skirt on, thong, you know, basically what, bending over. What do you mean you fingered her breasts? Yeah, I sat in the back seat. Played so there wasn't them. any room, yeah, okay. while she took her little, her brad break. <laughs> it says if you can figure it out. <laughs> you hotbox the car? Did you get, uh, yeah, in and out of the cars. Did you get, a, did you get uh, contact high? You fog it out, Leonard. No, I really didn't feel much from that, but uh, holy cow, I'm like, it's pretty good. Hold the mic up to your face. Oh, you Brad Break. That's crazy. You're such a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> that's the first thing I think about. That's that's, you go, that's, I, that's got to end up in Urban Dictionary. Yeah, I'm, taking I'm like, a Brad. So you're break. gonna go out and do the Brad. I'll show you a picture of my coworker, so you'll recognize her next time. Okay, you know, hold on. Yeah, why do I want to go downtown Atlantic? I can. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I'm just saying. You know, get on the bike and bike it right over there. Because you were minutes. you were having fun with all the people that went there when the DJ's there. So what's the difference? It's the same music. Is that her Instagram? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she looks kind of familiar. She's she's a little heavy. Yeah, you got, you got a lot of heavies in there. <laughs> I kind of let her Actually, in nah, there. you don't. Let me see if I can find a better one. These fucking girls with the Photoshop <laughs> shit. Jesus Christ. But you know how I am towards Atlantic. No thank you. Even any way, shape, or form. What do you mean? Yeah, she looks familiar. She loves you. How's Lenny doing? How's Lenny doing? I'd be doing good if you went out to do the Brad in the car and let me fondle you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, here goes the Donkey Kong Fitness with his fucking stupid. How many likes for you to get a man bun, Brad? What? I told him to send us a man stupid. bun wig. Like, come on, man. <laughs> Well, I mean, you're obviously never going to get one. Exactly. It's a fucking But if someone sends us a, a wig. The dumbest shit. No, I'm not going to fuck. I'd rather have my <laughs> testicles chopped off than wear a fucking man bun. 
You hear the uh, Mike Vrabel, the coach of the Tennessee Titans, said on a radio show? No. He'd have his dick chop off to have to win a Super Bowl with the Titans. And he used to be a linebacker for the Patriots years ago. He said that? He said it, yeah. So he's been married 20 years. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> dumb jock fucking statement <laughs> that's different i'll have my dick chopped off to win a super bowl yeah i'd have my to dick chopped off in a second super bowl winning team yeah. right just you, know, you think it's a freudian slip it's the stupid well, statement he, of being castrated instead of having he, a man he's just, of course really, i don't mean it but i would never yeah. it's, it's not gonna happen it's just yeah what like, would it take for you to be stu castrated stupid shit what would it take use your balls anyway no i'm talking about your penis you want my penis yeah how many millions i would never do it i don't care how much money you i don't know if it doesn't work that great what do you need it for as long as i can piss <laughs> So well, how much it, would it take you to chop your? Depends top? on your sex drive. If you can't, if well, you no, can I have never... a high sex drive, but you know that it doesn't work. It's it's unpredictable. At least it is to me. Maybe that's a diabetic side effect. Who knows? I can't use my dick. I'd rather be dead. <laughs> I was told that if you have a heart attack, you survive a heart attack. You wish you were dead. They said because you sit, biggest thing is you're gonna ninety nine percent chance of having one again. So, what does that mean? And you're always going to the doctor. You're always taking medications. This was basically said. If you're having a heart attack and you survive it, you're better off being dead. My dad had a heart attack years ago. He's, he's all right. He's taking medications now? Of course. Now? Yeah, that's a thing. Yeah, well, but whatever, he has a great chance living. of having another. Well, I mean. Then you got to be on blood thinners, cholesterol-lowering medication. Then you feel horrible. No, he gets her. He's fine. He, he never complained about side effects. No, not really. He doesn't complain. Yeah. But he was stubborn like you. Never went to the fucking doctor to get checkups or none of that shit. And then, you know, all kinds of shit started happening a few years ago. Yeah. Yeah. He said me, when I spoke with him, he said he wanted to be on this podcast. <laughs> he told me that too. Uh, I, think, Brad? I think Brad's got to exercise veto power on That's that right. one. Let's have your mother on too. How's that? And Jane. If she wants to. I'm sure she would. Jane? Oh, yeah, God. let's have everyone's parents on the podcast. Yeah, that's a great fucking idea. We yeah. can all take the night off. <laughs> oh, by the way, I met the warlord, Dale. Yeah, I saw that picture. Yeah, Mike Tit sent me that picture. I posted yeah. that for you. Still a big guy. Really doesn't do much in the ring, but then again, he never did. Yeah, how was the match? Lousy. But who, did, who did he wrestle? He paired with two Mexican guys for a six-man match. And but Buff Bagwell was in, in there. Marcus Alexander Bagwell, one of Dale's early heroes. <laughs> Very tiny. He's, he's in bad shape. A lot shorter and smaller than I expected. And other than that, just hitting on a black school teacher that was at the, uh, had a little event where she was making signs for kids, where kids can make signs. She was just volunteering. She was about a few years younger than me. A nice tan middle school teacher. Basically was in love with me the whole time because I was cheering her up. I told her she needs to go in the ring and fish nets and heels. And she was like, I don't have the body. So you got a better body than all these valets here. How long, how many matches were there? There were about eight, eight or about seven matches. Yeah. Anything good happen or it was just. No. Rinky dink. Shit show. Rinky dink. But. You know, the warlord was there arguing with the referee, which is weird. I never saw him do that before. You've seen all his matches? Most of them on, on the Internet. Yeah, he's very incredibly well-built and powerful. Arguably my pick for one of the best-built wrestlers of all time. What um, organization is, is that? The CCW, Coral Springs, something or other. Oh, boy. It was a... Coral Springs Charter School. I'm surprised he didn't bring you up in the ring. Well, Mike, they actually the promoter said, "Yeah, he wanted me and Mike in the ring." I said, "Well, if you're short, you know, I'll do something." And he laughed, but Mike caught one of his buddies lying. There's this guy who goes to Mike's gym that he's a real bullshitter. He says uh, he'll say things like, "He knows you personally." I guess he contacts you. His name's uh, 
I don't want to say his name. You're talking about he contacts yeah, yeah. me. Yeah, everything, and he'll say things like, "Oh, he was hanging out with Rich Piana four years ago, and Rich paid for him to at the Tampa Pro, and then what's it? What's this guy's name? Seth Gray. <laughs> Seth Gray. Never heard. And of he, it, yeah, well, he told Mike when Mike was telling him about this promotion. He said, "He goes, yeah, I started it." I said, so oh, then we went to the, of, talk to the promoter, oh, and he's like, sake. "Do you know the guy that started?" He goes, "I started," and he goes, "No, he goes, Seth started," and the guy's like, "Seth helped me put the ring up. He helped out. I paid him to get lost." So, the truth hurts, there, Seth. Yeah, lying. Now you're fuck. rubbing elbows with uh, <laughs> Big Brad Wolf too. You said that statement a few times. I don't even know a Seth. <laughs> I don't even yeah. know a Seth. Well, he actually used to be a he used to be a pro wrestler. He showed me the pictures. He was obese. He was four hundred and fifty pounds at five nine. Now he's real trim. He's actually Jesus the only Christ. thing he, he did good was he transformed 450 his physique. Four hundred and fifty pounds at he was four fifty at five God, nine. They show him in the ring. Oh yeah, goes to uh, Mike's gym down there in Deal, Deerfield. What's the name of it? Uh, not Planet, but the other one. You fit right. Yeah. I thought Mike goes to LA Fitness now. No, no. He he'll go for a few a few times. You fits better than Planet Fitness. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. It's it's good. I want to give a shout out to the YouTube channel Chuck E. Cheese Ranch. Chuck E. Cheese Ranch is yeah. he the one that reposts everything we? He's one did? of the channels okay. that does it. But he and I were chatting last week. I told him I give him a shout out. All right, good. Yeah. And ZZ only Transform X for yeah. uploading all the podcasts. Yeah. And doing barter by the day. <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> funny. Here, uh, yeah. you know, Jay's got a, of course, comment. Is Brad going to white knight for Dale? He's so, he's so know, fucking I butthurt know, I that know. I deleted his stupid ass posts. <laughs> I, yes, I gave him access to the Misfits Instagram. So he can continue doing live streams. Because he said his shit got deleted or he's banned yeah. for a he's few in, weeks. He's in time out. Mis- yeah, I used the Misfits Instagram. It's fine. But we don't fucking no. block people on there. We don't delete Correct. comments. Correct. And, you know, his beef with Cornelius and Dale, he can keep on his own fucking page, which I told him that. Because we don't have a problem with them. At least I don't. No. Of it's not, not about white knighting, you know. Jay takes shit too far. Yes, we break Dale and Cornelius' balls, but we're not fucking malicious like Jay. Jay and Jay... This is why Jay is a 50-year-old fucking man with no friends but us that he's only met a few years ago because he's a fucking asshole, plain and simple. He's a fucking bully, and he's an asshole. <laughs> There's no other <laughs> no. way to put it, he, and he knows he is, but we, and, but he's lucky enough that we can, we can put up with that shit because right. we all can be assholes, you know, and we take it from where it comes, but... He's not going to go on, you know, I'm going to delete all the shit that he puts on the Misfits Instagram about Dale and Cornelius because it doesn't fucking belong there. Yeah. It's stupid. It has nothing to do with the people get messaging us saying Dale's ruining your Instagram. I don't care about that. It's just he, him blocking people and then he's got to order, no, st- order 66 to Scott and Chris. We the, don't do that on that fucking the, page. The, That's the, it. The blocking of people, that was the <clears throat> that was the unacceptable part because I woke up that morning to a shitload of DMs. So did I. You know, I'm like, I'm, I call Jeff. I'm like, Jay, what's going on? What's Why am I getting all these DMs? And he, he explained to me about the Scott and Christina thing. I'm like, we don't block people. That's it. That's Ooh, it. We get, don't. He's so fucking. He, see, he can throw. He can throw a stone. He he can dish it out, but he can't fucking take it. And that's just yeah. that's that's why he gets all the hate that he gets. It's more fun if he goes back and forth with them exactly. anyway. That's what I told him. But he gets so fucking sensitive. Who gives? Look at all the shit, all the memes they make of me, you, Lenny. They they do it to all of us. Mm-hmm. You don't see us getting fucking butt hurt and going and blocking people. So anybody out there, if you've gotten blocked on the Misfits IG, DM me and I will unfucking block you. That's it. Jay can quit being a fucking baby about stuff. God damn. <laughs> Enough already. He's so butt hurt. Yeah, he's so <laughs> mad at Dale for Dale blocking him and Korea. You know. Dale was nice as shit to Jay when he visited him that time. A couple of years. Jay loves to burn fucking bridges. He did it with Lou too. They were nothing but nice to him. And then he goes and acts like a complete fucking jerk off <laughs> and talks yeah. shit about him. Dale went out of his way to pick him up from a truck stop, take him to the gym, 
give him pre work you know, whatever he did, took him to dinner or whatever, he treated treated him great. And then th- this is this is how Jay repays somebody that treats him fucking. Why nicely. did why did Jay even start talking all that shit about him in the first place? I'm trying to remember. He jumped on Lenny's bandwagon of breaking Dale's balls for being a third place whatever. you, you know. And and Dale Dale ended up blocking him because Jay was on a rant one night when he was fucking drunk, talking about Dale's wife oh, yeah. and saying real fucking nasty shit. Yeah, I remember shit. that. And Dale had happened to be on his Instagram watching the live, and his kids came in the room and heard some of the shit that Jay said and upset them. So, you know, Dale t- Dale's a little fucking sensitive, too, let's be honest. I mean, he he, he gets a little fucking... He gets a little <laughs> touchy, too, with some shit. But he decided true, to block Dale? Jay. And he decided to block Jay. <laughs> Is that yeah, true, yeah, Dale? Don't fucking blame him. I mean, how can you blame the guy? Yeah. So then Jay got all fucking butthurt about it. So now he's up his ass. And he won't let it go. And he's like, I want, I, I wish Dale would just go away. Then stop fucking talking about him. Stop talking about him. Go away. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, Dale apparently did a live stream tonight i haven't watched it yet where he supposedly talked about jay for a while so i'll have to watch that later so it is probably an incoming shit show shit yeah storm. that's fine yeah well but do it on your own fucking page you know it, it's yeah these guys just take shit way too fucking personal man well when you start talking about someone's wife Yeah, I, yeah. I, I just I would say that's off women, you know, kids, wives. It's, why would you do that? Just talk about the person. That's I don't know. Leonard's never said. Leonard's talked a ton of shit about Dale, but he's never once said anything bad about his wife. Not once. Some things are off limits, mm-hmm. you know. And he, and his wife is a sweet lady. Jay never met her. So, like, come on. <laughs> Knock it off already. But Jake acts like a 15-year-old girl, and we got to deal with it. So, <laughs> whatever. Anything anything yeah. he can break somebody's balls for, he will. An opportunist. Yeah. Lenny, did you see that flying knee by Jorge Masvidal in that UFC fight Saturday night? No, but I remember Mike T telling me you're probably all watching it because he was actually thinking about going to watch it. They were great. They're, the fights leading up to John Jones' fight, the fights were great. John Jones' fight was fucking awful. Well, you know, as boring as shit. Did you know that Tiago Santos in the first round tore his ACL, MCL, PCL, and um, what's the name of the, uh, the fucking cartilage there too? Um, men- men- meniscus. Uh, he, he he destroyed his entire knee in the first round, and he fought the whole five round fight and almost won. Yeah, it was a split decision. The wow. only reason why Jones won was because he was the one moving forward the yeah. whole fucking time, and he's the, ch- the champion. That guy's I don't a- disagree with that, but still, it was a, it was a terrible fucking fight. Imagine trying to stand up, let alone throw kicks and punches uh. and, and block shit with with a knee injury like that. I really hope there's not a fucking rematch. I, I will not watch those two fight again. No fucking thank you. Yeah, I think that the light heavyweight division is catching up to John Jones a little bit. He needs what? to just bulk up and be a fucking heavyweight. Already. Yeah. People want to see heavyweights fight, you know? Right. Jorge Masvidal's from down here, Miami. He used, sure. to, he used to do those backyard brawls with Kimbo. Yeah, yeah. it's funny because tough motherfucker. When you kid. mentioned that to me, I was at work and I, I watched one of those fights from I think it was two thousand and nine or two thousand eight. One of those backyard fights. He fucked this guy up yeah. twice his size. Yeah, he's a tough yeah. motherfucker, man. Got Kimbo sliced there, you know, all those thugs in, in someone's yeah. Andrew, backyard. You got a big backyard. Maybe you ought to think about doing that here. <laughs> <laughs> Recruit all the local talents. He, he yeah, fucking that's perfect. Yeah, five seconds the fucking Ben dad bod Askren. <laughs> Goodbye to him. Jesus Christ. Nana Nunez, she's a fucking killer too, man. Yeah. You like yeah. watching girls fight? Yeah. They're actually some of the some of the women fights are better than the fucking yeah. men fights, man. I don't like seeing the pretty girls get beat up, but 
the butch <laughs> ones. I don't really give a shit. Yeah, there's a lot of those. Yeah. Went to Publix the other day to shop. Oh, my God. There's about 12 of them in there. 12 what? Butch. Oh, yeah. What do you think of that? Um, what's her name? That that woman on the U.S. hockey team. Oh, hockey, Jesus. With the, the U.S. soccer, soccer team yeah. who just won with the purple hair. Well, she's the one that she was going at it with Donald Trump, Trump on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, that's what she gets. Right, a lot, of, a lot of class, load of class. There goes your endorsements, honey. What happened there? I didn't see it. Threw an f bomb. At the, they had the ticker tape parade in New York City. I think it was yesterday, and you know, of course, she's like, "I love New York, motherfucking city," something like that, just, just to make Be a spectacle edgy. of yeah, her. Yeah. Exactly, okay. correct. Okay. Trying to like mimic David Ortiz's speech that he gave after the uh, the the. the um, Marathon bombings type of a thing. Yeah, he's a real winner. Who, David Ortiz? Yeah. You being sarcastic? No. Little. F it's he married. He's down there screwing he around. Sh yeah, shot he wasn't face innocent face. in that. I don't. I don't want to hear that. He's a scumbag. Well, I, so. I read that it was, which he's I don't. I don't life. believe that it was mistaken identity. No, I think I that's total see. bullshit. Yeah, they're covering something up. Yeah. What do you think it was? Somebody jealous. Why do you say? Why do you say that? He's a scumbag. Why do you say that? The, the the initial report that came out that he was banging someone, it's like a drug lord's wife or something like that. Oh, well, then fuck him. And now the story is that it was mistaken identity. It was a drug lord who mistook him for someone who snitched back in 2011. How do you Highly mistake? unlikely. You can't. You can't. <laughs> Get the fuck you, you're out not. Here. You can't mistake David <laughs> Ortiz. That's Christ. like shooting Trump and. Accused him of being a snitch. Yeah. Oh, I mistook him as a. What in the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I think they're trying to protect David, his reputation. Well, he was doing that his whole career up there anywhere, screwing around. Bar Brad Break. <laughs> Adulterer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a fuck I, I read that like th the booking rate for Dominican Republic tourism this summer is, is down like 70% everyone's canceling their trips and rebooking them for other Caribbean islands people getting poisoned. they're getting decimated you know these these Caribbean islands they rely on those tourism dollars yeah, that's probably you probably get a pretty good deal to go over to Puerto yeah, no shit <laughs> <laughs> yeah. tell me about it Actually, my boss just went there for a couple of weeks. He said it was fucking great. No issue. All you have, because I was in Dominican Republic. You've been there too, right? Yeah. All yeah. you have, it's just simple. Drink bottled water. Don't drink ice cubes. And brush your teeth with the bottled water. Don't drink anything that's not sealed before that's you get it. That's more Mexico's like that. The Dominican, I didn't have a problem when I went there. Did you what? drink tap water? No, I don't that's ever why, drink tap That's why I'll you didn't have a problem. drink tap water here. That's why you didn't <laughs> have a problem. What do these places have over good old Miami? You're right. You're right. Once you go there, you're like, oh, I could have just stayed in fucking South yeah. Florida, really. I mean, what the fuck? You know? I mean, they got little mountains and shit there, but... Well, I mean, if you're at a hotel, you get the whole pampering hotel experience, too. The all-inclusive shit. Get away. I mean, you gotta get to away. Me, if you're living in a tropical... I know, you're right. Why you're not go wrong. to a tropical island? You're not I, wrong. I would go to Europe. I would go to... Yeah. You hear that, fans? <laughs> UK? I wasn't dying <laughs> to go there. Germany, Russia... I think, didn't Hamburg offer to... To pay your way to Sweden, or was that to Jay? It was either Jay or Lenny. Uh, I mean, I, Sweden I would be remember. the last place I go. Sorry, <laughs> Hamburg. And the shit I hear going on there. You're shit out of luck, Hamburg. Italy. You hear that, Christina? You, you hear to, that, Adam McLeod? You need to go to Amsterdam. <laughs> yeah. Well, you'd like it there. Did you read an article that they're, they're going to be, um, well, I don't know if they're going to do it, but they're planning on... Um, I don't, know, I don't know what the word is making a lot of changes for the red light district cleaning it up how's that they're going to make it so that the girls no longer stand in the windows number one um i think the government feels like it, it, I, I apologize if i'm mischaracterizing the article i read but i skimmed over it quickly that it it humiliates and embarrasses the, the, the naked girls to have feminism <laughs> Oh, here we go. Really? So, when she's taking that, putting that. So they're, they're no longer going to be standing in the windows to try to lure you to come in waving their fingers. Yeah, they're embarrassed all the way to the bank. They want to shrink the size of the red light district to make it more confined. Feminism running wild. 
When and, I went there and saw them standing in the window, I thought some of them looked like fucking mannequins. Yeah, I know. It's fucking yeah, I know. weird. It man. is. I walked up to one, and then they they start moving as I was like, holy yeah. shit, that wasn't a mannequin. <laughs> some of them are fucking beautiful, man. I know. I remember. Yeah. <laughs> Long time ago, but I remember. Why are you laughing, you fuck? <laughs> you didn't see anybody that looked like you in leather standing <laughs> in the window? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> The leather district. <laughs> <laughs> the leather district. <laughs> oh, God. So it does, I guess it doesn't look like we're going to do a Vegas trip this year. I know I'm not. I'm going to be recovering from surgery, which is August 21st. So I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, it doesn't look like it this year. What do you think, Leonard? Uh, an Italy trip would be nice, or a, a North Carolina, South Carolina would be nice too. Atlanta, you'd probably love Atlanta. I would love Atlanta. Yeah. Well, not now. I'm not so much charged up now. You know, with this low dosage. So, so <sighs> yeah, you know. There's other things you can take to get charged up, Leonard. Such as, you know. <laughs> <laughs> some G and some E that's all you need fuck uh, all the General Electric I think your days of competing are done don't you no not at all why are, here we why, go why, because when why are you gonna risk when I'm lean I'm actually healthier I do feel better I sleep better I eat be I eat clean well you can get lean without symptoms. competing I'm just get lean to. Why should I? It's never going to happen. But what? getting lean just for the sake of getting lean, not competing, I wouldn't do it. So for the sake of your health and feeling better, or as you said, reducing your symptoms, you wouldn't Well, I'm doing that lean. now. I'm doing that okay. now. I wouldn't call myself getting lean. I don't think I could get fat ever. I think my body's will never get fat again. Okay, so if, if, if you do another contest prep, hoping you don't but if you do you're not going to bulk up first and then get lean you just i am but the problem was i stayed on a bulk too long and i was supposed to die at june 1st and i was displeased with my gains which is my fault during the bulk phase you know i was still playing around a plan of fitness goofing around over there wasting time and you know canceled the ruby if i would have i firmly believe if i would have started dieting june 1st i would have been fine now and get ready to do the ruby and well, whose fucking fault is that? Mine. I don't, I'm not blaming anybody. So, so th this this last three weeks, you haven't trained or taken anything, correct? No. Have you started cleaning up your fucking shithole? Uh, Since you're not sleeping and growing. Oh, I just need to mop it. That's about it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Have you done That's that? It. That's it. For what? For what? Because you're not. It's not. Well, like you're, you're 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 not you're not growing, so you, you may as well mop. Well, excuse of not cleaning that shit. Holes I'm reading books. I'm growing. doing uh, <laughs> internet research. Excuses, excuses. You know the what the logic life gave me. The twelve rules of power is an excellent book. The gentleman that gave me the Jordan Peterson books, very good book. Isn't it the forty eight laws of power? Yeah. Did you say the twelve laws of power? Actually, there's only twelve. They don't have to go to forty eight. <laughs> <laughs> What about that? What was that other book that we got sent? That the teal book. Did you read that? What the fuck book was that? Remember, we each got one. That guy sent fucking like six. Oh books. yeah, was, and he sent like a bunch of fucking. Yeah, that was a nice book. Papers it was a, with USB. Oh, okay. Yeah, it had to do with. Uh, Did you read substance it? Substance abuse. Yeah, it's very interesting. Yeah. Okay. At least one of us read it. I can't. Be, another one. I can't believe the guy spent that much money to send us all that shit. Yeah, it's very nice of him. I appreciate yeah, it. I mean, but still, at the same time, like, you know. When's the last time you actually read a book, Brad? I can't read books. Why? Because they put me to sleep. I start reading. I used to read the paper. I would fucking doze off. Jeez. Reading puts me to sleep, man. That's it. Just does. I don't know why. Read a paper. Yeah. Before before I had a smartphone years ago, I'd bring yeah. the paper to work, and on my break, I'd read the paper. <laughs> Oh yeah, whatever. <laughs> the fuck I know. The Post. Who the f yeah, Palm Beach Post yeah. or the Sun Sentinel? Oh, even better. Who the fuck gets a paper anymore? There are people that do out. actually. Now you can just go online and read. People it. do actually still get the paper. Very few though. That's a dying business. Oh, print media will be gone. You still soon. deliver papers as a mailman. I know you do. 
Some people get papers from other states, yeah. yeah. But that's, you know, very, very few. Yeah. <laughs> If I want to, if I want to put myself to sleep, I'll start reading a book. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, man. You hear that, maniac? It is what it is. <laughs> it's very bizarre. It doesn't get you sleepy. No, okay. it makes you wake up because you've got to concentrate. Television will make you sleep, or even the internet will put you to sleep. Mm -hmm. But when you got to actually, Th that read... does me too. If I'm laying in bed doing mm -hmm. anything but fucking, I'm falling right asleep. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, even watch, even trying to watch a movie at night and laying in bed, I'm out within fucking 10 minutes. That's how you get your girl to fall asleep. Huh? When you're fucking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, it gets her adrenaline going. She stays up later. And I fall asleep. You wake her up by licking her asshole. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you still doing that, Brad? Wake her up with my tongue in her ass. <laughs> you still doing that? Absolutely. She's got a great ass. I met her. She's a great girl, man. Yeah, Andrew girl. met her on uh, Saturday yeah. night. We went out for the very fights. good head on her shoulders. All these assholes are trying to fucking find her out now. <laughs> good luck, man. Because Jay's obsessed with you continuing to yeah, you know, I know. try to ride me about it. He he breaks my balls about being in a relationship because his is so fucked up. <laughs> but he's not at the podcast tonight because he's got to be with Linda. But I'm here, so what's that got to say? What you got to say about that, Jay? You're pussy whipped, Brad. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, whatever yeah is what it is she wants to meet you too i'll bet she does <laughs> <laughs> uh no you talk a lot of shit but you're very cordial and nice whenever you meet somebody you you're i would hope so you're, you act like a gentleman he's especially not, around people's parents that's what i was but then after you talk shit you know, then you'll come on the podcast and say all kinds. Of, Brad, my, she was giving me looks, Brad. I think she, I think she <laughs> wants me. I think she wants you to share with me, Brad. My brother-in-law is dying to meet you. There, he's coming down here in a month with my my sister and my niece. Okay. So maybe we can all go out to dinner or something. He's Why been, do they he's, always come down in the hottest months? They love that shit. It can it can be 110 degrees. My sister would be like, oh, I wish it was hotter. She, oh, she, no oh, kidding. Yeah, she lives for this shit. As long as she has a pool she can jump into, which there is out here, yeah. she's fine. Why in the fuck would she live up in New York then? She must yeah, hate. She the would love to move down here, but really? he, he uh, his family's there, and uh, their long term plan is to move down here once my niece is older. But that's not going to be for a while. Since he's a, a t Italian, they don't like to be too far away from, from each other, you, from yeah, mommy and exactly, daddy. Exactly. I tell you what, I do. They're miss still in Brooklyn. Brooklyn. That's, a, that's a Spanish and Italian. I do thing, miss the old hometown of Oakmont, Pennsylvania. It's not so much the, pe the people are nice, but just the way the town is, the cool temperatures. It's kind of simple, but nothing, there's nothing you really have to, nothing really stands out. It's boring. It's boring, but it's good. I know what you're saying, because I was up in the sticks outside yeah. of Chicago a couple of weeks ago. I wouldn't call it the fucking, sticks, but... You know, Soybean fields, corn fields, you know. What you like to see is there's regular decent girls yeah. that are working as checkout girls and stuff like that, fast food. Nice looking girls in their thirties, forties, be surprised. Yeah. Single, very nice. Yeah. Very nice very nice people. You don't get that at the stores here. Rude cocksuckers. Here I called a, I called two girls fucking twats the other night walking out of LA Fitness. What because happened? I held the door for them. And they didn't say thank you. I said, you welcome, you fucking twats. And they <laughs> Did they respond? No. Yeah. Fuck them. surprised me. I heard Nicole wants to come and move back here. Why did she move to Vegas anyway? I don't know. I saw her Who? uncle at... Oh, Nicole? Nicole? Oh, I really? saw her uncle at Paradise Friday nights. Oh, has... She moves there in the hottest time of the fucking year. It's 110. He's got a nice it. girl, Brad. Looks just like yours. <laughs> I said, what happened to the wife? He goes, gone. That a boy. He said they had an earthquake out there. but Yeah. And he said that she... I said, what does she do for a living? He has just videos. I don't... I've never videos seen Videos on where? She, her YouTube channel doesn't have any... That's what he said. Just videos. She oh. can pick up and move anywhere. I said, what? What kind of videos? The learned? same yeah. old pictures. Might have to look for her own point. Good yeah. for her. This might be something that we don't know about. Mm. I don't think so. She she has a YouTube channel, unless she made a new one I don't know about, but the one I saw barely had 
any kind of decent yeah, subscribers. He, he was a little tipsy. He kept, hey, yo, and smack. I didn't turn around at first. He's like, smack me on the back like Brad does when he gets drunk. Like, what the <laughs> hell is this? I was getting ready to turn around and like, are you freaking serious? He goes, that's the best I ever looked. I said, yeah, right. I remember him from the old world gym. He's a good dude. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's cool. Jeremiah Pels. <laughs> Look him up. <laughs> <laughs> So she, you know, she said you know, she's moving back here? I don't know. Oh. You know who moved to Arizona? Chanel. Get the fuck out yeah. of here. Why? Be- beats me. Huh. Yeah, I, I was texting her the other day, asking her how she's doing. And maybe yeah. she maybe she can go hang out with Bravo. <laughs> oh, God. I, I heard I heard I seen him and Cassidy rekindled their love affair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. What's that? <laughs> they photoshopped. She changed her profile pic on Instagram. And then they photoshopped Jason's face on there. <laughs> Is that really you? Yeah. yeah. I'll show oh, you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. Let me see that. Uh, these fucking people are obsessed. I'll see what her. <laughs> oh, Money person's last direction. Oh my god. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can't do anything but laugh. Yeah, see she's How how did they get such a big shot no of that idea. though? I have no idea. That's the real pick. Okay. So she put it as that. <laughs> <laughs> Swimming in the piss. Yeah. That's all right. <sighs> like uh, like they said in the movie The Godfather, this is the life we've chosen. That's right. Just got to roll with it yep. and laugh. It's entertaining, man. These people are pretty fucking clever, though. I tell I've, you. I've always said it. We, we have the most original... <coughs> creative group of followers out there bar none for better or for worse shit they come up with i'm surprised they haven't blown up the uh tom segura and christina pruszynski's your mom's house podcast to get jay on there. i think they did i email tom adam mcleod email tom um we all we try to get jay on there but they didn't respond they haven't responded yeah she's did the they're husband and wife comedians that yeah. have a podcast, and they were show they were showing Jay's little Instagram posts about wanting to walk to North Carolina and fuck Dale's wife, <laughs> and then the, the wife Christina P is like, "I'd like to fuck I'd I'd fuck him over Dale." <laughs> no. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, but Tom Segura is funny. I saw him live. I saw him in Chicago and I saw him in West Palm. He's a funny comedian. You know who brought that here? Now that I'm thinking about it, remember that valet I told you about at my job? <laughs> yeah, she brought that here like in February. Uh, I just I you gotta know. try it. It's very good. That I don't know if good. I want any more. Is it? There might be. Yeah, I'll check to see if there's an expiration yeah, date on it. Skip that one. I'll let Jason try it. He can eat anything. Yeah, exactly. If Jason can eat it and doesn't get sick, I'll maybe. What I'll is all that shit about? I see these memes of people cutting off the tops of their ice cream now. What do you mean? They're they're showing like with a knife cutting off the top of their ice cream. You mean when they pop it open and they they won't eat the first top of it? Right. Because I think that. You know, I guess the new viral video craze that some of these young morons are doing is they're going into grocery stores, opening ice cream, taking the lid off, licking the top of yeah, it. Yeah, I saw that it, girl was charged. Yeah, but uh, she's not going to get yeah, but anything. So, but big. most of and the then, ice cream you get has that plastic seal on correct. the fucking thing. So if that's off, obviously you don't, I mean, what the fuck? I don't know. A lot of them don't. Oh, they don't? I know Ben and Jerry says it. They have like a plastic around the fucking thing, around the outside of it. Here's the thing. If you get caught doing that, you get your tongue cut out. 
Absolutely. I guarantee you no one will ever do it again. <laughs> Simple. You get your tongue cut off. <laughs> and then you'll never fucking lick another Brad. ice cream thing again. Of Go course, ahead. with Brad's rimming, he get his tongue cut off in most <laughs> Muslim countries now as it is. <laughs> uh, it's worth it licking that ass, Leonard. Let me tell you. Hmm. I don't know what you you told me for years. You were right, man. You don't know what you're missing, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> what a, go ahead, read a Donkey Kong Fitness. Here's another one for you. There's a musician named Dale Cornelius, and the guy on the cover looks like Big Brad Wolf from YouTube. How is this real? Yeah, he does look a little like you. Spooky. Oh, so weird. <laughs> I saw that a couple days ago. Da -na 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 -na. Yeah, the Twilight Zone theme. Now look at this one. The Rock posted that picture of Andre the Giant and his dad. Ugh. I finally Let me saw see. that. Uh, Andre the Giant documentary it was very good. Yeah. What's The Rock's father's nationality? I think he's Samoan, right? That's what. He, yeah, he looks like he's a Pacific That's Islander. That's not The Rock's father. It's not. That's his uncle, Peter Maivia. Oh, uh, okay. His father, Rocky Johnson, is pure black. Oh no, he said he, this is his 315-pound grandfather, Peter oh. Maivia. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. But Rocky, The Rock's father, married into that. Samoan bloodline. The daughters of, of the Mayavias. You ever hear the rock talk? He just sounds exactly like Obama. Have we ever heard the rock <laughs> Yeah, a little talk? bit now that I think yeah. about it. Okay, question. This is from Athos the Musketeer question for Lenny. What do you think of demonic possession? What are your thoughts on Pope Francis training new exorcists to meet this threat? They had to look at him first <laughs> <laughs> I hear some stories about him He's uh, He's someone to be watched out for a possible Antichrist Yeah, demonic possession is real you believe in possession? Absolutely. Hmm. There's forces of good and forces of evil, clearly, in humankind. And in, in animals, the most, one of the most evil animals on the face of this earth are your regular chimpanzees. Yeah, remember that one that ripped that lady's face off? What was that about ten or twelve years yeah, ago? Yes, so I was doing some and research. That was, that was her pet, right? Yeah, that was the chimpanzees. Correct. And before her. they they enjoy taking a small animal and ripping a limb off, and they like love to see smaller animals or anything suffer. I mean, they'll take their time and kill it. Where a lion will make a clean kill, you know, to eat. But chimpanzees, I mean, people think a cheetah with Tarzan and still real cute. Trust me, I did some research on it. They are not to be messed with. They're evil. And when people say, don't experiment on chimpanzees, hey, that's what some of them get. Because <laughs> they, they were doing Don't the feel same bad for them because right. they're fucking crazy. Right. Never go up and touch one, Dale, at the South Carolina Zoo. <laughs> you know, you think you see a nice, cute little chimp. Don't do it, Dale. Trust me. Jay would tell you to do it. Yeah. I know you, Dale, you think you're a big, you're big and bad, and you are, but those little chimps will really put a hurting on you. And I don't want to see that happen. We, all right, a lot of this shit we've already answered. Lenny. He said something about Jake crying to his mommy on, on one of his lives because he left the phone in his pocket. Oh, yeah, alive. that was. <laughs> did, did you see that? No, he, do, he didn't share it. I he, asked him, I said, you share it? No, on he, purpose. He was doing a live and he put the phone in his pocket 
and he thought he had ended the live and he didn't. <laughs> and he was <laughs> Those are the best. <laughs> and he was complaining to his mom. These people on the internet are the worst. Or something like that. And <sighs> and I'm like, shit, I'm like, should I call him or shouldn't I? So I called him. I'm like, Jay, you're still alive. No, I'm not. I'm like, Jay, yes, you are. Trust me. Check your phone. Oh shit! I'm still alive. <laughs> what else did he? I know because in the group chat I saw Pom I was working. I saw Pomp said you are still alive. I'm like, what the hell are you talking? Yeah, because I wasn't watching it. <laughs> you know, may maybe I was a meant killer for doing that, but you know, I got to look out for him a little bit. <laughs> I remember one time McLeod did that to Jason. Jason was doing a live stream a while ago. He was doing something really stupid. I don't remember what it was, and McLeod either called him up or jumped into his live stream and. He's like, Jason, you need, you need to end your live right now. You, you got to stop. So Jason ended it. And I think everyone jumped on Adam for being a mint killer. And you know. Yeah, look at the live I left on down at Broward Boulevard. I didn't mean to tend to do that at all. Bullshit. Are you sure about that? Bullshit. Yes. You meant to That's do why that. No, I didn't. Kill me, goddess. I was on G anyway. <laughs> That's classic. I know. No, I didn't. Put your face in it, bitch. <laughs> Not at all. Think about the mints we got from that. <laughs> the one at the strip club, yeah, I, I left that. If you want to that call one. that mints, that's debatable. No. We, I did not intend that to ha for that to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Lenny, what, what from Coral Laboratories, Coral Laboratories, what are your thoughts and experiences with using psychedelics such as LSD and DMT? Yeah. I've never used both. Yeah. I wouldn't want to be under the influence of that for a certain amount of time i don't think i could handle it yeah lsd lasts a little bit too long for me that's and dmt too i mean i hear some bad things commitment. about that yeah. we were gonna tr brad was gonna actually try it here but the guy never came over who's stinky yeah stinky left right but he has yeah, i think he went back to fucking detroit yeah so much for your fucking channel what happened with that <laughs> shit stinky stinky that kid yeah, smelled I, so I, fucking I, bad hey no trust me he edited that all out of that video that day we went to Club Pink when I was breaking his balls about smelling like a fucking dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't take that shit either. <laughs> Did you read this? Oh, for fuck's sake. Jeez. I'll read it. Yeah. He obviously wants us to. Go D ahead. Dale said he would give his kids a gun to shoot me on his live. This is Jay. Hopefully the boys on Reddit will get that clip to the Department of Children and Family Services in Charlotte. No. Like, see, why do you got to stir shit up like uh, that? I don't know. He, he's, he's. <sighs> <laughs> Jay will probably never see Dale again. Sorry for the silence. I'm reading so am questions here that can be. Please address Lord Vader's carrot gate and lipstick gate. I didn't know that he honestly didn't. When he told me he, that was photoshopped of him putting on lipstick, I thought I believed him because I only saw a picture of it. I didn't see the video. Mm -hmm. So when he said it, I just blew it. I'm like, oh, okay. So and then, of course, right after he posted that video, I get fucking 100 DMs of that video of Jason putting on lipstick, a lying little fuck. I can't believe a word that comes out of his mouth anyway. No. And now he goes and shoves a carrot up his ass. You know, I, I, I told you this already, and I, I a few people who, who DM me about it, I said the same thing. I'm really starting to think that he's no longer getting trolled into doing this. I think he does it for the attention Assuming no doubt assuming it's real and he wants you to break his balls about it on camera because he knows it makes for mints And he doesn't get embarrassed or ashamed right. or nothing so and I just won't mints even equal, fucking, I won't even fucking mention it Mints equals views views equals YouTube shekels. So don't even bring it up and just Because he's just gonna deflect or say who cares and, and What's the point? Have you ever put a carrot up your ass Leonard? No, I don't like putting things up there <laughs> and by the way what you know if you look if you happen to look at the picture which was dm to both of us you know that was pretty far up there yeah. like yeah you know it wasn't no, just like it was, the tip 
don't like know if that it was, was a baby carrot or a I, long one. Yeah, I don't what. know what the size of that carrot was, but I mean, you only saw the. It's going to be very hard for me not to say something to him about it, but I, I got to. Like, I'm thinking he to. might have to go to the ER to get that taken out like or something. So and so that we know. You've already mentioned him before. <laughs> I'm not going <laughs> to say his name, but. Alan. The Vietnam vet. <laughs> what was it that was shoved up his ass? A sex toy. I don't uh, know what that meant. But. Uh, was that the one with, I, from the old the, gym at the, at the came hospital? Came to our podcast in yeah, the yeah, critical yeah. care unit. Yep, that, all right, I remember him. <laughs> 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 Can I get a shout out from the prince? He is my inspiration in life on how to deal with bullshit. Nomas Jose. There you go, brother. Somebody fucking created an Instagram account. Big Brad's Clean Lizard. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> so I put on an Instagram story cleaning the bearded dragon in the sink. And uh, that's a fucking Instagram account now. Scott Jung, 88. Lenny's thoughts on the Game of Thrones finale. Many people were disappointed. Never heard of her. Me neither. I never watched that show. Neither have I. I've never yeah. seen an episode. I don't know what's wrong with these fucking people. Andrew looking bigger, boy. No, I've... I, I've withered away into nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe the camera adds 10 pounds, but last time I weighed myself, I was down 10 pounds from since the last time I lifted a weight, which was in February. So I appreciate that, but if you saw me in real life, I, I'm not looking bigger at all. Take my word for it. Oh, here's one. Risk 9-11. I'm getting married on the 27th. She's an amazing woman. We've been together for seven years. Any words of wisdom you guys can share? Andrew will probably say, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, as long as you're getting married for the right reasons, yeah, go, go get yeah. married. My advice but, would be to, uh, that's fine, but make sure you squirrel away some money that she doesn't know about just in case shit hits the fan you got you know, a is, few grand to fall back on <laughs> i'm all i'm all for loving someone and if you want to spend the rest of your life with someone then great but you don't have to sign a legally binding contract with the person in order to spend the rest of your life with someone and be happy if 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 all of the legality was removed from marriage i'd be all for it yeah. but you know, if it was just a ceremony, you put a ring on each other's fingers you know, without the need for lawyers. If you want to break up and assets and alimony and all that shit, marriage would be a great thing. Just remove the legality from it and I'll be all for it. It's that simple. That's sort of prenups. For Only it. get married if you love her more than yourself and she loves you more than herself. And you'll be able to should be able to know that. know that. You should be able to know that in a seven year relationship. Question for Andrew. Do you only... Do you only have one of those genetics shirts? Wear it all the time. I have four of them, actually. The guy who, who owns that company sent me four. I'm One, two, three, four. Yes, I have four of them. I, I, uh, I have a rotation. They're actually very comfortable. I, that's why I wear them. I do have other clothes, but you know, these are comfortable. Andrew, how is the shoulder? The shoulder is shit. I'm having surgery August 21st. I had a, a long consultation yesterday with my surgeon. Um, and I'm getting scoped Wednesday the 21st at 7.30 in the morning. Having another MRI done in a week and a half. He wants to take a, a closer look at everything in the capsule. Uh, make sure the rotator cuff is intact. Yeah, open and, MRI? Uh, closed. It's, fi it's fine. It doesn't bug me. I know some people freak out, but no. Nah. Like they say, just close your eyes. That's it. But of course, you open them and then you fucking... Man, I couldn't stand that machine. Well, they give you... This place gives you headphones to wear and you can choose oh, what good. music you want to listen to. I just choose reggae. Pretend, my, <laughs> pretend I'm on the beach in Aruba or some shit and Smoking just... Smoking a fat one. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, I just... It, it, the question is, is he or isn't he going to perform what's called a bicep tenodesis? He said he probably is going to have to where they, they snip... The long head, uh, the bicep tendon, where it inserts into the labrum, and they reattach it to, to the top of your humerus bone. When you have a slap tear, it's a way of alleviating pressure off the labrum. And he said he's probably going to end up doing that, but he has to look inside the shoulder joint first with the scope. That's in addition to what's known as a capsular release for the frozen shoulder, debridement, because I have loose 
bodies in there, loose pieces of cartilage. There are sharp edges that need to be shaved down from the tear. So it's I'll, I'll probably be under for a few hours. Jesus Christ. And um, All from what? A fucking lap pull-down machine. I don't know. Probably lots of little micro tears and fraying over time that just, you know. If it was just a torn labrum, I, I can probably live with that. But this frozen shoulder needs to be surgically addressed. That's not going anywhere. It has to be broken up with the uh, the capsular release. He goes in there and just literally cuts through the adhesions and scar tissue that's formed God, inside damn. the shoulder capsule. Yeah, that's that's why I can't crazy. move it. Yeah. Yeah. Good times. Can't wait. I've never been under general anesthesia before, so this will be new for me. My biggest fear is that, like, you know. Now, Andrew, we're going to give you an injection here, and as soon as I start fading to black, you're just going to see all the doctors start pulling their dicks out, you know? I remember when I got my vasectomy done, because <laughs> you could do it in the office. You don't have to go to sleep for it, but they, I, I wanted to be put under I went to Delray Medical, and the, they started, they put the ringers through you, and then they start the I, I didn't speech. know you had general for that. Yeah. How long were you out for? Probably 30 minutes. I have no idea. But, you know, you go under. Mm -hmm. But uh, the guy, one of the nurses is putting his gloves on. He's like, right before I fucking went, right before I went out, he's like, so which testicle are we removing today? <laughs> I always started laughing my ass <laughs> off, and that's all great. I remember. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> oh, the thing with that, man, after your fucking nuts swell up. Oof. Oof, it's so fucking uncomfortable. You've been kicked in the nuts before, right? That's a feeling you get in your stomach for like a not week a, after that. Yeah, not for a while. In high school, I was. Maritzia, thanks a lot. <laughs> you That's why I got erectile dysfunction. Because I'm following you home from school, so you decided to go around and kick me in the balls. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm surprised it's only happened once. Yeah. Was it's it happened like, before. But. Was it a sneak attack or just came right up to you? and? Well, I basically was following her home. It was just me and her you up the hills fuck. of Oakmont. And oh, uh, she's looking around. She kept looking around, and she saw I was quickening the pace. And there was woods coming well, what would you? What would you have done if you caught up to her? Kissed her. <laughs> Forcefully. Yeah, she you, was kind of really cute, yeah. You would have... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Telling her I loved her and stuff. And Did you drop to the ground? Yeah. I wasn't expecting it. Did she run? I thought she was going to run up and kiss me or something. So Smartest thing she ever she did. She ran up and kicked me with her right foot right in the ball as hard as she could. And then she just ran off? I was like, oh. Probably oh, made no. you like her even more. <laughs> Come back here. I yeah, want more. Yeah. Sort of. I love Stop you. My balls. <laughs> yeah. Sort of. But I wonder what she looks like now. Jeez. What would, I, what would he have done? Kissed her. <laughs> <laughs> so she kind of looked like a Marilyn Monroe uh, when she was a blonde. Oh, shit. Yeah. Nice face like that. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do the next time you saw her? I think she was with her stepfather. I was threatening him. They used to call him All Star Jerry. That was bad. How old were you when that happened? 18. Eight, yeah, she was like six, 17, 16. Leonard, Leonard, Leonard. I started going for the younger ones because a lot of them liked me. You know, because I was a senior, a lot of the younger ninth graders they think that's cool or whatever so i had girls all the time coming up to my house asking me to come outside go in the woods with them whatever do this do that what's this and that jerk off in front of them have them touch me <laughs> show them my dick show them my erect dick have them give me an erection have them make me come jerk me off i never sucked you off yeah one girl did oh good <laughs> ninth graders Leonard in the woods. <laughs> dark Hollow Woods of infamous Dark Hollow Woods in Oakmont. That's what that's what it's called? Yeah. Oh boy. What did the doctors find in your stomach? Said it was perfectly normal. I had uh bullshit. Wait, did they ultrasounds in my stomach? Okay. They did it three times. That's what I was gonna ask. Perfectly normal, just a lot of water in there. So normal liver function, yeah. no abnormal body kidney or function fine and my stomach was simply like a lot of my, uh, my whole body was holding an extreme amount of water that's what the and when i come to figure it's not being stretched like it, is. it even doesn't look as big does it gh causes a lot of water to be drawn to the stomach no doubt about it even if you don't inject it there or not 
I'm pretty much convinced of that. It's got to be. And also, oral steroid tablets can do the same thing. Draw water to your stomach. Anybody want to care to... Didn't you used to say years ago, it's layers upon layers of abdominal muscles? It is. That's what mm. comes to the normality. It is. It's hard as a rock. He's but, right about that. You, you touch that thing? It's oh, like feeling a brick wall. The distension was from extreme water retention. I mean, I've done my... I mean, the first thing I did as a kid, my father had me doing sit-ups every day. Tons of sit-ups. You know, I was like one of those kids that just do hundreds every single day. Even before I hit puberty. I had a six pack in high school, an eight pack in high school. Matter of fact, girls yeah, not only did he, high school, yeah, that high school no, picture I saw of you at your mother's. That yeah. You were thin. You were thin. What year was yeah, that? Eighty seven. And you were okay. But not only did girls ask to see my penis, they always used to say, "Let me see your squares," meaning my abs. I had my most outstanding abs pretty much in the school. Do you have any old pictures of that? Of me flexing my abs? I don't think so. But oh shit! Or you want my abs pictures of my old, my penis? <laughs> Forty and slip, Brad. I've seen your dick enough, Leonard. You hear that, fans? Maniacs. <laughs> He's seen it enough. <laughs> Every time I come to your house, you answer the door naked. <laughs> you have to looks. look, and you just have. You can't keep your eyes. No, at, you can't no, keep your eyes no, at no, eye please. level. No. Your eyes drop like an elevator. The cable that snapped. Do not break the horizon line. We've all seen it, Leonard. It's okay. When is, Liz, when is Lenny visiting his father? Also, Lenny, just stop it with the PEDs. We don't give a shit if you look bigger or not. That's from... Well, uh, I'm cutting down the dosages, Justin. but, you know, it's I'm going to let my heart heal, and I'll, I'll be all soon back Do to you normal. want us to feel the way you did about your Bahamian? No, I don't want anybody to feel like it. All right, well, fact, then take care of yourself. Matter man, of fact, to tell you the truth, Sometimes you'd rather see yourself die than somebody you love die. I, that's a feeling I got, Lenny, can, which, which shocked me. Can I ask you an interesting hypothetical question? Sure. Let's say you somehow got back in touch with your father. Um, and he said to you, Lenny, I love you. You're my son. I want to see you stop with the PED stuff. Don't worry about your size. Let all that stuff go from when you were younger. Um, you don't. I don't want you to feel like you need to live up to expectations I had on you when you were a teenager anymore. Lenny, I, my son, I want you to let it go. Would you listen to him? Uh, yeah, but I just still want to make myself as big as I can muscle-wise and, you know, unfinished business on the bodybuilding stage, which, which, is a, which is a competitive sport. You know, it's just like auto racing. There's risks involved. You could die, you know. And I always look at it like this. As a soldier, I mean, let's face it. And throughout history, guys of our age, it's very rare to become even our age because of all the world wars. I mean, look at the people. Look at guys born in 1900, say, in Europe. So you feel Some of them, not only if they were lucky to made it through the fucking bloodbath of World War I, they had to suit up again in World War II. Many Germans had to go to both wars and fight. By order of law. And imagine if they made it out of the Second World War. I mean, my God, you got some luck on your side. I mean, guys were slaughtered at 17. You know, I mean. So you feel living till 49, you're fortunate enough. Well, as far as, it's not so much the time, it's the quality. Okay. Which I'm looking back on. I mean, I know I want to die, but I don't want to do anything stupid either. But I don't think, I don't necessarily think I would have died. I think if I just sort of went through my pre-contest phase that stuff would have alleviated me but i got problems now like i said my feet are all hurting like hell right now i don't know what the hell's wrong with them i have to go see a podiatrist that hasn't gone away the tops and the bottoms it's like a pain neuropathy both of them since they swelled up like that, i think i had damaged them have you checked your blood sugar level since you got out of the hospital no of course not he's not gonna follow up and do anything that the doctors have told him to fucking do we know that already I think there's a way to check your your blood sugar level now without having to prick your finger. Have yeah, you seen the commercial for that? It's yeah. like a little. It's like a patch that you yeah. stick to your skin, and you stick yeah. a sensor in it, and you don't have to keep pricking your finger. Oh shit! Yeah, you should. Try I don't know if out. it's I don't know if it's prescription only or not, but I don't know if it's over the counter. I don't know, man. It's your life, but 
Why, why do you want to put yourself through hell? I don't think it is, really. Yeah, but the last few months when you're on that stack, you were fucking miserable. You yeah. know it. Well, yeah, I was. For yeah. somebody that values his sleep and you can't sleep, what yeah. the fuck? What is it, what is it worth? Sucked. Why is it worth to go embarrass yourself on a fucking bodybuilding stage? I mean, come on. You're not winning the fucking thing, and you know that. I'm winning if I'm the biggest and hardest. No, you're not. It's not about being the biggest and the In hardest. In my opinion, it is. I didn't write. Okay, well. <laughs> who made the rules? Then why who made could, the rules? If the rules are bullshit, why Eugene compete? Eugene Sandow? He's, he's why, a, why compete? Eugene <laughs> Sandow's about a buck 80, he went. With that Peter, mustache. Peter Potter makes the rules. Yeah, look is that at his, his name? physique. He looked like he never Potter, even touched, Putner, or touched a weight in his life. Is that his name? That old fart judge, yeah, Peter Potter? He never touched a weight in his fucking life. So why is he a bodybuilding judge? I guess that's the way he gets to look at the men. I've heard about him in his stories. Yeah, I'll get you to win. He likes the Latin the men. Well, maybe that's how you can get first place. He had a gym. He let all the... Maybe if he knew you swung both ways, he'd <laughs> Tell him your name, you know, votes. register for the show as like Jose Lopez. <laughs> and, you know, just come on to him yeah, before the show. Yeah, I pretty boy look. He, he likes you know how many <laughs> Latin pretty boys walk the beaches and streets of South Florida? Yeah. With the abs. They're all the same. Cookie cutters. Buck 60, buck 80, hairstyles, tattoos, and abs. No offense, Brad. <laughs> and I'm talking about the abs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'll ever have abs. I like to actually enjoy myself and eat and drink whatever the fuck I want. I'd rather not have abs and be able to eat. I'm with you there. Whatever I want. Fuck about that shit. <laughs> you could have abs if you follow my program. You're probably ripped. right. You're probably right. But I don't yeah, want. I don't want to. If I can get shredded. Yeah, but I'm not taking. Girl would like it. Elephant abortion inducer. You don't have to. <laughs> I got to replace this wire. It keeps cracking. It's, it's diet. This oh, is the only wire I didn't replace. The other ones are all new. So go figure. Why is that? Because I, it only came with three mics, three wires. Oh, and I'd rather okay, get like a short you. one. I got Because these are all long as fuck. See how I rubber banded them yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. Okay. They asked, what did we all do for the fourth? What would you do for the fourth, Leonard? I was at my mother's house while she was in St. Augustine, Florida. And I had a great time watching Jaws without commercials. The original Jaws. It's my favorite movie of all time. Very funny. Yep. I got a funny story about Jaws. A co-worker of mine... A few weeks ago, he was hammered drunk watching Jaws. Mm -hmm. I think it was the next day or two days later, he got a big Amazon package in the mail. And his wife had opened it up and she's like, what the fuck is this? They were all Jaws bobblehead dolls that he ordered while he was drunk watching the movie. You make Chief Brody, Quinn, yeah, that's, that's great. <laughs> He's like, I don't remember doing oh, it at all. That's great. But he, got, he was all fucked up. <laughs> you yeah, really can't yeah, find yeah. anything on Amazon. Boy, I, some of the quotes in that movie. I remember the mayor, when they're talking about closing the beaches, then they show that sign where somebody had spray painted a shark's fin. Yeah. He goes, hey, Chief, you need to catch the paint happy bastards. Hang them up by their buster, buster browns. browns. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I'm gonna, too lucky I didn't compete there. I'm going to hang you by your Buster Browns on them stage. <laughs> <laughs> and I like, oh, Quint's are smashing the radios. What the fuck? Yeah. Are you? That's just great. He's talking That's to his great. wife. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. You should have done that with Jay's cell phone at the Hoover Dam. When he said he wanted to call for help, you should start smashing his phone. <laughs> Say you're staying here, buddy boy. You're going to be buried here. Uh, shit, I haven't seen that movie in over two The other years. one sucked. That's the only one that's good. Two is decent. The rest yeah, were awful. Yeah, I agree. I'm surprised they haven't remade that one yet. Yeah, it's true. That'll be next. Nice. Hollywood's running out of ideas. Remember when he <laughs> takes his hand, scratches that chalkboard? Yeah. Like, Y'all know me. You know how I make a living. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find him for three, but I'll catch him and kill him for ten. Yeah, yeah that's right. a great movie. 
I think I know every line from that movie. What'd you do on the fourth, Andrew? Anything exciting? No, man. I, I worked that day and I had to work the next day. So I just, I wanted to avoid downtown Delray like the plague. Because I remember when we went a few years ago, oh, you, me, Jay, show. and Jason. Oh, the, the parking and everything, it was, you know. I went down to Deerfield. I saw it on there. It wasn't, it actually wasn't bad. I mean, it was pretty fucking crowded, but it was pretty organized. No bullshit. Mm -hmm. It was, it was good. They, the Deerfield Pier has the best fireworks down here. What do you mean the best? <laughs> they, they put on a great show. It's a great show. You haven't seen one, you've like, seen them all. I know. I like fireworks. They too. suck. That's your opinion. <laughs> they don't do anything for you. Where do you go? Ooh, ah. Oohs and ahs. <laughs> you like them? I think they right, suck. There you go. I knew you'd break my balls about it. Go ahead. <laughs> that's yeah. That's your opinion. Then I'll go watch them. I don't I like it. I'll go watch it. I, I don't. don't give a fuck. You like sucking black dick, so whatever. No, 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 right no, now. no. Oh, not right now. <laughs> no. Okay, not whatever. All. I couldn't give a shit what you think that I like or dislike. I just want to know why you <laughs> like good it. Good time for you is going I just to want a answers. strip club and sucking dick. Not right now. I'd rather go watch fireworks any day of the. How about watching week. fireworks while you're sucking a black dick? <laughs> <laughs> does life get any better than that? I submit that it what does do you not. Get out of fireworks. I just want an answer. I don't know, man. It's just something that brings back memories as a kid. Not really. <laughs> I like the loud noise, the bang and the, you know. The shit Ooh, well, bang. Lenny, how about this? When we're done with this podcast, we can shoot off some bottle rockets and you can. Yeah. Or bang our here. pots and pans next to your ears. Yeah. How I do know, you like that? I know you didn't. Yeah. I know you didn't see any fireworks or hear any in, in this fucking. No, thing. actually, no. Right across, right down the road here. Someone did an amazing fireworks show. I actually went out and watched it. Oh, no shit. Yeah, it was pretty good. By the airstrip? No, um, it looked like it was coming from Cocoa Wood Lakes, just across Jog Road. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They would have some. That, that's a road. that's a, a younger development. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You stayed at Mommy's. No excitement yeah, over yeah, there. Yeah, I stayed there with her cats, who are not very nice. How many does she have? Two fat cats, calicos. They don't like to be touched or petted. They'll scratch you. What's the point of having a pet cat? Well, they, you can't... Uh, they do let my mother. That's about it. There's something okay. wrong with him. Well, Kimba was like that, too. He... Yeah. There's something wrong with him. <laughs> I never met a cat like that. And the mother's like, oh, they don't know me. And they'll know me. Fuck, I've been coming up there for eight fucking years. They don't like me. They don't like anybody. Just my mother. You're still fat as shit, huh? Oh, yeah. So, Lenny, you heard that. The doctor Brad and I go to to get our test hightailed up to Alabama. He's gone. Yeah, we have we have I no just, more test connection. I just refilled all my. I went smart. Um, I went yesterday. I read, refilled all my shit today, so I'm stocked up for a little bit. I think tomorrow's the last day. Mm -hmm. Lizzie's going to be open, and that's, yeah, it. that's it. Gone, done. And none of them have a job anywhere. They put out applications. No shit. Oh yeah, he just left them high and dry, right out in the cold, man. Lizzie's great. I hope she lands on her feet. Yeah, I'd go see her again. So we got to find a new doctor. <laughs> I'm going to see yours. You can deny and act like you don't have one, but we know which one you go to. That's where right. I'm going. And that's right by my route, too, so it's convenient. Hopefully I can get all the same shit. Who knows? But he does TRT, right? I don't know exactly. You said he did. I think my mother gives you a shot in the office. What? Yeah, I don't know what he does. You have to check no. and see, but she injects. I'll call her. She injects a lot of people in the office. Well, he, our doctor would have done that too if we wanted him to. But I don't know. You have to find out. To she myself. told me that your your mama said she only that doctor only does like low doses of two hundred mg a week or something That's like what that. I get anyway. Yeah, exactly. That's fine. As long as I can keep getting that, I'm good. They want you all this. They're all giving you well wishes, Leonard. Well, stay, thank you very take, much. Take care of yourself I, and stay alive. I wish you all the same, but don't be a cookie cutter, number one. That's one thing I like about Juanita. She wasn't a cookie cutter. She never did what anybody else said. She couldn't give a fuck who didn't like me because of my color or whatever, where I'm from, my age. She didn't give a fuck. She didn't care who fuck looked at her or whatever. 
Mm. Keep her alive in your heart, Lenny, right there. Yeah. That's all you can do, man. Remember the good times. Yeah, everybody's w- giving you their condolences. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Never had it happen to me like that. Never felt. I thought I'd cry like that. I did, and I still do. That's okay. I think about it. Doesn't her. make you any less of a man because you cry. Who gives a shit? Can At least you I don't t- Dylan Banter. cry like somebody does. You know, talking about who Jay. <laughs> I've all seen Jay cry. He's oh, going to cry after he listens to this podcast too, <laughs> and then he's going to go all hard as fuck against me again. It's so funny, though. He runs his mouth and talks all this shit, and then when I see him, it's like nothing happened. I know. That's, a, that's what's so I'm funny. Joking, you know? That's what's so great. I spent the whole day with him last week because, he, he, you know, he's getting upset because I guess I'm not giving him enough attention, so he thinks it's because of the taco queen that I don't give Jay his attention that he needs. So I spent the whole day with him. We worked out. We went to, we went to lunch. Then we went to his mother's house. I hung out there for a while. I mean, he was all happy. Every time you do that, Starts cracking and popping. No. You don't hold. Wire. Yeah, it's don't the hold mic. the wire. Yeah. No. Now he get all upset. <laughs> oh, he's such a fucking baby. <laughs> Dylan Banter, can you tell Lenny I love him and that he is an inspiration to me and so many maniacs. Thanks, Dylan Banter. So Appreciate it. You get a lot it. of love, man. Thank you. They. Hopefully, Jay will come on the next podcast. As long as Linda lets him. Maybe I'll call <laughs> Linda and ask her if, he, if, he'll, if she'll let him come on. <laughs> uh, you gonna, you, are you ever going to go back on a heavy cycle? Depends what you find by heavy. I'm going to go on a manageable cycle. I'm going to go on a mass builder. I just don't want the side effects. Okay. I don't need that severe water retention anymore. But then again, I think if I had a decent CPAP machine, that would, would I would still be able to lay on my back. I think the key. One? Why don't you get a new one? Yeah, I got to go get a sleep study or something. There's a lot of red tape, but. I gotta, oh, you can't just get the. No, there's a lot of red tape. What to get a CPAP machine? Yeah. What red tape? You got to go to a respiratory therapist. I'm sorry. Ear, nose, and throat doctor. He's got to do a test. You can't just order one online? Not at all. No There's shit. There's got to be. All. Ma- all right, maniacs, look into this. We Lenny need needs a CPAP the, machine. What strength? Make it happen. Well, one that adjusts. I heard they have one that's something to adjust to you. I, mean, I can't, but what do you, I can't you, get a Mickey Mouse type of strength. You like, the, you like the one that's just to your nose, not that not right. covers your nose and mouth. Yeah, I mean, that's not the problem. It's a machine a certain level. You know, it has to well, be. what's a certain level? Aren't they, are they, are they adjustable? I, I don't know anything about it. You have to go to a sleep study and find out. I have no idea what it is now. Of course, I'm lighter now. If I make the mistake of getting one now, like I did when I was lighter, then it's not going to work when I get bigger. That's the problem. It has to adjust. What is it at now? What's the strength? I have no idea. The doctor has. I have no idea. Oh, it's not like calibrated no, on the you machine can't where change you can see? It, no. Uh, How old is the one you have now? It's about five years old. Maybe. So maybe they make new ones now where you can't adjust it. Maybe, you know. That's a self-adjust. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'll look into it. Maniacs look into it and, and get back to us. Thanks, please. appreciate it. Yeah, I think we have some doctors and nurses that follow us that could probably help you out with that. I know you do. It's <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh. All right, you want to wrap this up? We got to do a few cameos. Okay. Yeah, this was a more subdued podcast. We'll we'll get more rowdy, I guess. Next I'd like time. to thank New oh, World Nutritionals. Book cameo. New World Nutritionals. I need some protein powder. Book cameo. I need some farting powder. <laughs> Book cameos are going good. Keep them coming. Yeah. And, and to those who order the cameos, if they don't get done right when you order them, my apologies because I have to hunt Leonard down to do it because he refuses to put the app on his fucking phone. How does that work? You have five days to do it? I think it's seven. Six okay. or seven. All right. So sometimes it gets close. But so it's not always sometimes it's right away. Like if they order him and I'm with Leonard, we can mm-hmm. do it. Right it keeps you to check up on me in case you find my That's dead right. body. Yeah. I know where all the goodies are. 
<laughs> I don't even say that. If I, wa- I don't know what I'd do if I walked in on your dad, man. They'll probably accuse you of killing me. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> For your own rough sex. <laughs> Is that a Freudian slip, Leonard? You just made one. <laughs> so now if I if I go to your house and you're not answering the door, I'll just put a sock over my hand when I open it. So they won't have the prints. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Well, at least I'll be with Juanita and I'll be carried by Christina. Actually, your breathing is a lot better, I've oh, noticed. Yeah. All the water's out of me. Yeah. I'll go from Christina to Juanita. Fuck Christina. That's stupid. Cares about She's her. out there. I'm, well, I'm out. She it's my destiny. I'll run into her one day. Good. All right. Anything else? No. Dale's just lucky I didn't compete this year against him. I would have dwarfed him. Hopefully next year, Dale. Is he definitely still competing? Is that his I point? think so. He's getting big, man. Yeah. I don't think he'll do super heavyweight now. No. How, what's the weight for super heavyweight? I think it's above 224 and a, and a quarter. 224 at his height? Jesus. Man. I hope he doesn't have a death stack. All right, hopefully next time we'll have Jay on if he's, if he's allowed. Well, if Cornelius was a sophisticated coach, he could have Dale over there easily. That's all I got to say. Challenge to Cornelius. What's the challenge to get Dale the super heavies? And lean. Because if he can get Dale to 250 and lean, he can get me to 350 and lean. I'll pay top dollar, Cornelius. <laughs> you, But the problem is you won't follow anything Cornelius tells you to if do. If he gets Dale there, I will. Okay. It's that simple. We'll see about that. Yeah. Right, when you always can get ready for, to put me in man's physique, that's no problem. Or have me look good at the beach, but if I want to be a freak, let's see what you can do, Cornelius. And when I'm talking <laughs> freaks, I'm talking big Rammy freak. I'm talking Nasser freak. Marcus, <laughs> so Marcus <laughs> Rule, Art Atwood, Ronnie Coleman, Jay <laughs> Cutler freak. If you want to look good at the beach, Cornelius is your guy, huh? <laughs> so far... <laughs> oh, he put all that pressure on Cornelius. Uh, Koth Cornelius. Yeah. If you lived up there, I'm sure he could get you in, get you right. Yeah. In right. He got me looking pretty not right. Like not human. That's what I want. You're determined to kill yourself with that shit. I'm going to be a freak. Yep. When are you going to start the death stack again? January? Looks like it. We'll see how it goes. Yep, cool. yep there you Play go. Play by here. God damn it. Yep. All right, man. Well, there you have it. What should we go out to? I don't know. Has Has Bravo sung any new songs that we could play? Make everybody throw up? No, thankfully. Oh, nothing, nothing new? Not that I'm aware of. Maybe he and Cassidy can do some... A duet. So yeah, a duet. Like, uh, you know, Sonny and Cher. Uh... I wish we could talk about the story behind that. Well, with their whole their whole beef. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Nah, too bad. That's all right. If Leonard knew about it, he he'd say something. Or you know, Jay would run his mouth if he knew. Okay. A- any requests, Leonard? No, I wish I could. Wish I could think of something Juanita would like, but. You said she likes R and B, right? I guess. I told you I what to do. Know. It's so hard to say. It's so hard to say goodbye, boys to men. Oh my God. To yesterday, <laughs> making Johnny Bravo sound like uh, Frank Sinatra here. <laughs> oh, do I really have to play that? <laughs> Leonard's gonna start crying again. Yeah. It's all right. Let it out. There's tears running down. Your Let face it out. Earlier, Don't man. hold it in. Who I cry on makeup? I might start thinking about Kimbo and cry. <laughs> We're all gonna be crying. What do you think, Leonard? Do you feel the death? 
Here it comes. Let me see. That's how you want to Right, not that other shit that was being sent to you. That's oh. like she's doing gay pride parades, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good picture. That is a very good picture. You should make that as a screen Yeah. You want to do the screen You know how to do that? No, I got the other screen put it on. Show them. I don't know how to work it. Make a t-shirt. You want to make a memorial t-shirt with it? Right in the fields tonight, man. Yeah. Good night, man. Yeah.